with another episode of Monster Bass Live. I got a great show lined up with, for you guys. Uh, uh, we're going to talk a little bit of nonsense today. We're going to learn some Spanish. Uh, we're going to get up close and personal with probably one of your favorite YouTubers. I know he's one of mine. Uh, but first, we're going to bring Max in and uh, we're going to have a little chat with Maxie. What's up, bro? What's up? How you doing, bro? The usual. Pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know that it's the usual. I mean, listen, you you and your dog had a, a pretty day, I heard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it? Well, uh, guys, my dog got fixed today. so. And how, how do you feel about that, Max? Um, I was really upset because I wanted to get him bread because he's a really cool dog. But my parents said he's too crazy and... It'll take his testosterone down and calm him down. So. All right, enough about your dog. All right, Max, um, we got some really special guests today. I don't know how excited you are, but uh, I am. Um, Pretty excited. I'm going to tell you a little bit about him. So our guest today, uh, I've watched his channel from the very beginning. He's uh, he's growing like he's growing like weeds, crazy, and. Uh, He's kind of known for doing all sorts of product reviews. If there's a box, he's probably reviewed it. And uh, it's pretty legit. So should I guess? No, Max. You were on the pregame warm-up. You know exactly who it is. So why don't oh, yeah. you tell me, like, you know, what are your thoughts on uh, on the guest selection today? I think it's a pretty cool selection. Yeah. I think usually we're at a certain amount of numbers and – Today we're past that number, so it's a different layout. Mm. We have some pretty cool people that already have a podcast. Okay. So it's like two podcasts merged into one kind of. Right. Right. I mean a good way to put it. All right, Max. Well listen, let's not let's not waste any time. These guys have a schedule to keep. Uh, so uh, for everybody watching at home, um, I'm really excited today to have uh, uh, Jeff and Paul from Burley Fishing on with us today. Uh, they're on for a limited amount of time because they've got their own show that's going to go live about an hour from now. So make sure when you guys, when you're done here, you head over to their live stream and you check it out because uh, you're not going to want to miss it. I know they got a great show and they're way more prepared than I am. So uh, let's not let's not waste any time. Let's bring them in. What's up, guys? What's going on, man? Thanks for having us on. Yeah, no, thanks for taking the time to be here with us. With, uh, Absolutely. It's kind of cool because normally it's just me and like, you know, I hate to call him my sidekick, but like it, it's, it's, you know, I call it like I see it. Like I got mine, you got yours and, uh, you know, we're all here together. It's kind of cool. I love it. So yeah, my sidekick, that's, that's camera guy, Paul right there is what we call him. So oh. he takes, he takes those snazzy pictures you see on Instagram. <laughs> he, he does take some pretty snazzy pictures. So, uh. All right. I like, so, to take, I like to make sure credit goes where it's due because it's, it's not the picture. It's you know, it's the photos. Okay. But I think a lot of it. Is, I'm I'm more there for inspiration. I'm like, I'm like I will play the dopey sidekick almost. I pretend like it's on purpose. So then we get the good TikToks. Huh. I'm telling Jeff, no, jump out of the boat. It'll be hilarious. Right. Just right. do it. Listen, yeah. I, I've He's, seen the inside of your kayak. I know. I mean, a <laughs> little bit of a hot mess, but. Every now and then, you you know, you pull a rabbit out of your hat like the Ned. When you pulled that Ned right out of the air, I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if you planned it, but if you did, no. that time that was, was something special. That was 100% yeah, all- real. That was 100% real. We were snacking, and I'm like, you know, eating some beef jerky, just looking around. I'm like, not even two feet from my head, hanging from the tree above me. There's just a Ned rig just <laughs> literally sitting right there. River provides, man. River provides. <laughs> Well, let's get right into it. So, so, how'd you guys meet, and how'd you guys come up decide to create this channel? So it's a really long story. It's not long. Uh, so we we met in college. We both went to Michigan State University, and we played rugby there. And it was kind of one of those, you know, like you you have a practice, you beat each other up afterwards. You're like hey who are you and he's like hey who are you and we're like do you want to be friends and we're like oh we're friends now and then we would go on like these rugby retreats we'd go camping like in the deep deep backwoods in uh in michigan and there was a river like we would camp right on the river so we get like talking about fishing and and, like for me 
I, I'd grown up kind of fishing on and off. It really wasn't something I was super passionate about for a long, long time, but, uh, it was something that Paul had kind of like just really started getting into, uh, more at that time and started egging me into it. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right. So like I would, I would dig out like, uh, my dad, like a rod I got from my dad from Gander mountain, RIP way back in the day. Yeah. And I dusted it off. I had, uh, a tap tackle box that my grandpa got me when I was like 11 that had my name, like a name label on it. Super cool. So I'd polish that up and I was like, dude, I got, I got some lures. Yeah. I got stuff. Let's go do this. And we just, we started like fishing kind of on and off over the years. And he moved out of state for a while and I moved out of state for a while. We ended up back in Michigan and got together again. Shoot. What was that Paul? Like four or five years ago. And, and yeah. just really, really ramped this thing up. So we started fishing a ton and it gets into that you know, competitive nature. We're just texting each other pictures. Like I caught this. He's like, I caught that. And you know, it was just, it was a ton of fun. And I just wanted to learn like more and more and more. And then started like stumbling into, you know, the different like boxes on the market to get some more variety going on. And we just like, we challenge each other. We try different things. We uh, break each other's fishing rods. Like a lot of the time, uh, mostly Paul breaks my fishing rods and then I break my own fishing rods a lot too, or lose them. <laughs> so we, we've had a lot of ups and downs that way, but yeah, it's, it's really been since when would that have been in college? I'm going to date myself here. 2007. Yeah, I graduated in 10. Yeah, it's so like 2007 or 8, we would have met, and we've been kind of fishing on and off more heavily the last five years, like I said, really ramped up, but it's, it's been it's been a ride. We go on a lot of camping trips. We started like just this year is when you start getting some of that that footage for that on the YouTube channel. Um, it kind of, when did, when did we really started kicking off this February? We did that, uh, the ice fishing trip here in Michigan on a real big lake and we're just getting like 50 mile an hour winds blizzard, just icicles in your eyeballs and stuff like that. Super fun time. Lots of whiskey to like wash down the snow and, and uh, just surviving, just trying to survive. But that was when we started the podcast and it's just been kind of like spinning up ever since, but it's been a ton of fun. Right on. Awesome. Um, so Max, you're going to, uh, as always, you're going to monitor the questions, and when it comes time for some questions, you're going to have a few of them lined up for us, right? Well, actually, I'm going to try and not look at the comments so much, but I can find some no, questions. No, no, you're too. going to. That's your job or <laughs> back off the podcast. Okay. All right, so part of your job is to pay attention to the questions okay. so that we can make sure that we got a good show. We need, we need participation, buddy. Oh, I know. If it makes you feel better, Max, that's what I do on my podcast. I answer the questions. Paul Paul does a show notes. He's my researcher. Well, see, <laughs> I don't want to look at the comments so much that I'm not paying attention to this camera. You know? I feel like we're giving the folks a real deep look behind the curtain that they don't they don't want. <laughs> yeah. Close, close the curtain. Close the curtain. Back to the show. All right. So back to the show, Max. All right. So uh so your channel, you got your guys' channel is like growing like crazy because it's about a about a what, year and a half old. And you're pushing like 10,000 subs right now. We, so <laughs> we actually, as of right this second, need about 40 to hit 10K. So I don't know if there's 40 people on here that haven't subscribed yet. I'm just, Bruh. you know, it's going to lob that one out there. Well, but yeah, yeah let's, uh, let's get everyone okay. to go over there and subscribe. Every we're, single person on this podcast right now, if you're not subscribed to Burley Fishing, go subscribe. Get him to 10K. Thanks, Max. Plug. Thank you, Max. Thanks, Max. That boy. So you guys are pushing 10. What was that? <laughs> Sounds like somebody's having a rager on the house behind you. <laughs> uh, not my house. That'd be me. Oh, man. <laughs> Max. Who's partying at your house, Max? That's my dad. Oh, okay. Right. Yelling at the dogs. All right, Max. I mean, it's bad enough. The dog got fixed today. Now your dad's yelling at it. That dog had a rough day, man. <laughs> that dog a break. So, so you guys are pushing 10,000 10, subs, and it's been only a year and a half. Is that correct? Uh, year and two months, I think. It's been, last September we started, like end of September. That's amazing. I mean, congratulations to you guys because you're obviously putting some really good content. Um, you know, you kind of have gained this reputation as the guy that to go to for if you want if you want to know what's coming in every box and whether. It's a good one or a bad one, or or just what's the newest craziest thing out there. 
you're kind of been become the guy, right? I mean, Try, trying to be, yeah, trying to be. <laughs> we're just we're just nudging our way into that into that niche. You know what I mean? That's what we're working on. So what, <laughs> we're getting there. What's what's without? I don't want to I don't want to get into brand bashing, but without like, what's the weirdest thing you've ever gotten in a fishing box? Because I've seen what, some weird one things. thing. I don't know. All right, I'll I'll give you I'll give you one unique thing and one really weird thing without naming names. Yeah. And I think Paul could probably guess them. The most unique thing that I've gotten was this like concept box that came in a cigar box. Like they put all of their baits into a cigar box, which I didn't know it was coming. The guy literally said, I'm sending you this thing, do a video if you want. And, and like, I'm not going to give you any hints. Don't peek. Okay. And so I was like, okay. And I opened it like on camera and there was a friggin' cigar box there. And I literally lost it. I was like, this is, this is ridiculous, but it's, I mean, it's kind of cool. I actually have it right here. <laughs> so that's the box. It now holds random things, you know, like cigar boxes do, if not holding cigars. So that would be like one really unique thing. I would say, the weirdest thing I've ever gotten was this plastic that came in a certain big box that was shaped like a certain uh, oh, region on a body. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's great. It's called it's called the scam shad. We call it the clam shad. It's yeah. uh, it's real strange. Yeah, it's real strange. But I will say it caught fish. <laughs> it, all, I, all dude, it actually was pun intended, an absolute banger because I only had one of them. <laughs> and the second, it was like nothing happening. Yeah. I tie that thing on, fish, fish, hit, fish. It was, it was absurd. <laughs> but it, I had a really hard, so I do all the unboxings that I do, I don't open them beforehand. Oh, you don't? And the only, no, no, they're all blind unboxings. So I never know what I'm getting. So I try to give like as unique a reaction as I can and like, you guys know, like it's, YouTube's an opinion based platform. So I'm giving you my opinion. I, I live in Michigan. I fish in Michigan. Therefore, I'm going to have like a northern style opinion. But when I opened that scam chat, <laughs> I, was, I was like literally just lost for words. And I, I didn't <laughs> not much came out like I, sure. I, I was like, I don't know what to say. So I just moved to the next bait. I was like, I, I, I got <laughs> oh Oh. Some guy somewhere was like, this is a great idea. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I'm going to get back to that one in a minute. I want to introduce everyone to Anna. Anna takes care of my life. She's here every single day. She takes care of my kids. She takes care of the house. And uh, normally we'd toast and drink some wine, but I, I kind of went out last night and I don't feel like I should have any today. Um, but as always, in every episode, Anna comes on and she teaches us something really useful in Spanish. And, and, mm -hmm. and we're doing so because I don't speak Spanish and I think that it's really good for Max to learn a second language um, for, for the part of the country where he lives in Delaware. Because, um, you know, <laughs> it's a big epicenter of uh, Spanish population. So, Ana, why don't we, um, before you go today, which, by the way, thank you so much for everything today. Yeah. Why, I, I think something really good uh, and useful for all of us would be like, woman, make me a sandwich. Mujer, hazme un sandwich. Say it one more time. Mujer, hazme un sandwich. Muhem, hazme un sandwich. Uh huh. Mujer, hazme un sandwich. Mujer, hazme un sandwich. Max, yeah. got, got that. <laughs> Max, you're you muted yourself. <laughs> oh, Max, it's so <laughs> nice. Sorry, my parents were yelling more, so I muted myself. Oh. Muhem, I'm a sandwich. Uh -huh. we'll on sandwich. All right, Great there job. you go. See, informative and fun. Thanks a lot, Anna. We'll no see. Problem. We'll see you tomorrow. You. All see right. You tomorrow. Bye, Anna. Bye. It, right. It's pronounced gracias. Right. Yeah, gracias. Gracias. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> yeah. Thank you. See. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, uh, Frank the. T I'm going to take a comment before we get back to the weirdest thing in the box. Uh, Max, uh, Frank the Tank. Uh, so notably commented that, that had uh, he had one job. <laughs> uh, folks, if, if you're watching at home, we're going to be holding auditions throughout the, over the course of the next two or three weeks <laughs> no. for, uh, for sidekicks. And Brutal. if you're interested, 
RIP Max. Sorry, bud. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> this is another one down. Two two down in that house. Right? <laughs> Dogs down. <laughs> no, Don't Max. take Max. Both too. you got both of you got fixed today. Oh shoot. <laughs> yeah. So uh all right, so 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 the you got uh you got these uh weird shaped soft plastics in the box. Mm-hmm. Um what's the coolest what's the I, I have the, have have you do people just send you stuff like or is it more of some of them you've signed up for but some of them just show up because you're now the guy yeah I'd, I'd say more so recently like I've had four or five brands just reach out uh, whether they're they're offering like a new product or they're not even on the market and they're thinking about it I've gotten a few of those like the cigar box for example uh two days ago I got uh outlet bait and tackle just sent me a box and didn't <coughs> even email me or say anything it just wound up on my doorstep like I've never ordered from you I did a review from them or for them in june i looked it up i was like it's been a while yeah so in june i did one they sent me out of the blue but they emailed me that time this time it just showed up and i was like all right cool so i get some of those uh i got like the fishing rod rack the other day that was pretty cool so so some of that stuff is starting to happen which i'm super excited about i do have like some subscribers will send stuff in too so i got like a box coming from a sub right now that he he custom paints them and the paint jobs look sick so i'm excited to see what that looks like so i should get like some jigs and body baits in there so yeah i mean that's been awesome um you know for the most part like i pay for still still like three or four subscriptions i still pay for all the time just because uh i like some of the stuff in them and also they get views <laughs> so like it's for the people man some of that's for the people uh but it's been it, it's a lot of fun man i i never thought i would like fall into the uh subscription box niche it's not at all i was like man i'm gonna have to like order super cool stuff from like tackle warehouse all the time and like you know really be on my ball with that i'm like shoot i can just get random boxes <laughs> Like, right. that'll work and it's just fun because it's like christmas in the mail every time i get pumped for it my daughters come running in from the doorstep with them like oh you got another one i'm like get the camera let's go right. let's so, do it so paul well jeff's over there having christmas every day what what, what are you doing like what where i literally you- get my wallet out I'm like here you go no <laughs> i was um, like paul buy those things yeah i'll get them for um, free you buy them you know, while while Jeff's like just you know getting showered with gifts, I'm typically uh, just I do a, I'm doing a lot of the pre planning. So when when we're like, oh, where are we gonna go fish today? It's like, okay, I will do you know my 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 typical six hours a day of research, yeah. and you know I'll find the uh, I'll find the very lukewarm spot that I'll take Jeff to where I know all the good places and he doesn't, and I'll be like, oh, I, I don't know why you couldn't catch anything. Good good job though. And then, uh, and then I, then I help with the podcast. That's where, and that's, that's where I, I derive a lot of the enjoyment from the podcast. Cause it does allow me to like be an old curmudgeon man and like talk about stuff that I want to talk about. So that's, that's, that's generally where I get to have my fun. Well, Hey, what do you, so, so, what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about something? I like to talk about old man lures. I like to talk about like, Jeff wants like the brandest, newest, like flashiest thing. Yeah. And then he'll true. get it and I'll be like, <laughs> You, you, bought, you bought the Chase Pro- Made Smuggler on your own. Nah, <laughs> that's you did that's not buy it. On your own. <laughs> if you, listen, if you you need that, I got ducks and bats and, and stuff. I'll just send you all <laughs> you those things. All those. No, no, what I want, here's what I want. Mike the Pike. Yes. Ducks? Weston Bates. No. Mike the Pike. Weston, look it up. You all have computers. <laughs> Weston, Bake, Mike, Weston Bates, Mike the Pike. It's going down. Did I just hear a duck lure? Oh yeah. Don't, you don't know about Danny? We don't got don't talk about Danny. <laughs> you might actually get fired today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Don't. No, Paul Paul is like first of all, we are on TikTok. I suck at TikTok. I hate TikTok. <laughs> Paul does all the TikToks. I can and see that. He, he's actually the featured person on most of the TikToks too. <laughs> but no, no, no. Watch me do this. Yeah, yeah, he'll just say like, "All right, camera on, we'll do this." And like, so he's he's the mind behind the TikToks. He helps me with a lot of the pictures on Instagram. He does the show notes on the podcast. He's we I don't call him a sidekick. Like we we jokingly call him uh camera guy. 
Paul is a joke, <laughs> but he he definitely like floats a lot of the content and I do the camera crap and the editing <laughs> like of, of the camera stuff, which is the majority of my time. That's so Paul's that's really the brains behind the operation. 100%. 100%. We are just like a sentient robot human, and he is the brain module running the show. <laughs> uh, Max, why can't you be that for me? <laughs> He's getting 10 minutes, man. <laughs> He's warming up. He's warming up. Yeah. Got this, Max. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, Max, you got any questions for you? You got any questions from the audience for, for us? No, oh, I've been taking pictures, man. Great. I got three questions. Let it go. Ooh, let's do it. All right. What kind well, of camera do you use there? Uh, what's your new camera setup? Me? No, not you. Oh. You didn't buy a new camera. Jeff did. Okay, yeah. Uh, my new camera for the videos? Yeah, people are asking. Is uh Sony ZV-1, which has like this nifty little flip-out display so I can see if my, my baits are actually in focus. But I, I like it because it does like a rapid focus, so you don't get that like... Oh, it's still blurry. Five seconds later, it's focused. Yeah, yeah. Yay. Like, no, it's just like, boom, focused. And it's it's on the ball all the time. I, I like it a lot. It's a big upgrade. And then uh, I pair that with, like, my wireless roadie mic and roadie? Road? Road mic. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so it's so it, much nicer. Yeah. The quality has ramped up. I used to use just my GoPro. I had a GoPro 7 at first. The first, like, three months is awful i apologize uh then we went to gopro 8 which was like eh, it's okay but it doesn't focus on anything right and then we went to the sony zv1 and it is it, it's game changing huh. amazing what else you got for us max all right so first off mcap asks what is jeff's favorite fishing trip my favorite fishing trip that i've ever been on i guess <sighs> oh man uh that's a tough one i wonder if uh there's there's been a few we've had some like fun guided trips but i honestly would not ever put them at the top of the list like i'll just say that they were fun will i go on another guided trip in the future yes okay. are they ever going to be my favorites no i think my favorites are just when like paul and i or uh us and a couple buddies will like just go camp at a rustic campsite and we'll just go fish like a bunch of lakes. So one one was like, would it, it, it would have been last summer, I think. It was like you and me, uh, we had two other buddies with us, Marcus and uh, was it Joe? Joe, I think, was with it. Uh, somebody. Somebody else was with us. And uh, <laughs> they had a mud boat, right? But like that trip, we had our kayaks and we went out and we fished over the course of what, four days? Like just a whole bunch of different lakes, whole bunch of different lakes. And like, Paul was deathly ill, so I don't know if this will rank as his top fishing trip, but I caught a lot of fish, and uh, I caught some freaking toads out of the pads on frogs, and it was just like an all-around really fun trip, plus camping, plus drinking, plus hanging out with friends. So I'd rank that up there as like definitely tops, like one of the tops. Nice. Okay, one more question uh, from Kevin Heaton. Jeff, what's your go-to style bait right now? I'm from Wisconsin. The go-to style bait. Right now? <laughs> I know you're pointing that finger because you think I'm going to say what you what you think I'm going to say. Uh, my go-to right now is the thing that's actually catching fish right now, which is a jerk bait. Specifically, a suspending jerk bait. Paul's super proud of himself because he's recently converted me to that. And you would think, like, bro, you're from Michigan. Just why wouldn't you fish a jerk bait? That just makes sense. Uh, I didn't always, I kind of avoided them like on purpose because I, I I would have more luck. The last couple of years, I had a lot more luck in the fall with the net rig. And like I could just plug them. I could plug them on the, uh, we call it the shark deuce. There you go. Yes. Yes, exactly. That's an awesome jerk bait. Uh, so I would just like, I'd plug them on the, the Z-Man chartreuse uh, TRD, the turd. Yeah. And I just pull like 30 fish a day out of like a local pond on that. So it's like, I, I was like, I don't want to fish jerk baits. I don't have to. And then this year, the Ned rig's not working. So what is working? Suspending jerk bait. And it's fantastic. So I, I've had them in like, we've had them in the MB box. We've had them in a bunch of boxes I've been getting. So I have like a plethora of them to fish with. And then I went and just picked up like a crap ton of Rapalas and other brands too. Nice. So we're stocked jerk bait fishing all day. Nice. I knew that was coming. 
<laughs> you knew, you knew I converted this year. I told you. Nice. Hey, we we got a question here from School of Fish, Burley. What is the one thing that sets Monster Bass apart from its competitors? I think that's that's actually an easy question if you if you really think about it because what sets us apart is that we have creators slash experienced fishermen in all regions of the country who actually fish the baits that we put in the box and i just don't see that really many other places if at all there are many boxes that don't test the baits at all uh and there are boxes that say they do and kind of do but not really uh but like we actually we get the baits we test them out we can make a call if it should or should not be in a box like there's a lot of influence there which i think is is unique and it's a lot of fun to be a part of because I get to be a part of that, which is amazing that I just get like a random box early on in the month or right before the month starts of baits that are going to be in the box. And I get to go like test them out, see if they work or not. We talk about them, you know, ahead of time. We say like, hey, what colors, uh, you know, a jerk bait would you be throwing in the fall? And like we get to all play a role in that. So it, it's it's easy for me to say that because I'm behind the scenes on it. But having been here, I can say like, Dude, I, I don't see that really happening anywhere else. And it's it's super cool to be a part of that. Right on. Right. Uh, dude, I would say hands down to getting like regionally focused stuff because yeah. if I got the national box, I'm we're in Michigan, we're in the Great Lakes region, it's not gonna look anything like one from out west. And it's not gonna look anything like one from down south. Sure. Period. Especially like right now. Like the last two months, your your box that that Florida gets it's not going to help me very much. Yeah. And yeah. you can, you can really tell the difference because we do get those national boxes. We film them, we fish them and I will find myself using a frog when I shouldn't be using a frog. And, and, and it's like, you really can't tell the difference. And when you're spending, you know, your hard earned money, you want to get something that you know you can use. And that is a, that's, that's a big, that is a huge differentiator. That the frog statement is like the statement because I've gotten <laughs> a frog in yeah. like, from from March to November in almost every other box, I've gotten a friggin frog and I'm like, dude, I don't need any more frogs. Yeah. And guess what? I didn't get the last two months in the MB box, not a frog because I should not be getting one here. So like that's that makes a big difference, too. What, what is your guys take on these? You know, every now and then we do these, uh, I don't know, call them what you will, uh, takeovers. You know, we did one with Lunker Hunt. We did one with Strike King. We've done. What else have we done? We've done like an iCast box where it's new baits to hit the market. What are your thoughts on those? Because when we do do those, you know, it kind of does take us away from what we're known for because everyone's going to get the same box. And there is a good chance you might get something that may not be something that you're going to use right now. Yeah, I think that's that's a good point. Um, I think it's a cool like showcase of that brand though. And, and I would say, and you could probably – you know, you would agree with this, like the, the Jason Christie box, the strike King box, the Lunker hunt box, even yeah. were like some of the most popular boxes. Like I loved all of those boxes very much. And they happened to, you know, 80% to a hundred percent of that box happened to like line up to what I was fishing. So it, like it worked out for me. I yeah. can't say any of those were like, well, pff, I guess I'll fish these next year. Yeah. You know, the lunker hunt, there's like three top waters in the lunker hunt, but it was like July. Right. So I was like, was all right, cool. This is fine. Yeah. Totally. I was, I was going to bring that up. Cause in addition to that, like there's some brands out there that you can get a really bad impression from, from one bait. Like, lunker hunt is 100%. one where I've got, I had a Lunker Hunt bait and I was like, yeah, you're dead to me. And then you get a box like the Lunker Hunt box and that finesse series, I had just started playing with that finesse series that, that we got in our box, the, the really, the, with the, sw the swimmer tail, the little short ones, and then the Ned, those are awesome. I had, I had already bought packs of them cause I liked them and I just got refilled. Uh, so, and then those, those, that I got a white frog in mine. Prime. Like, <laughs> And it does make a difference. Like it'll turn you around. I think the other thing too is when you when you're doing something like that with a brand, like you're getting a higher value box. So yes, you may you may typically only see Lunker Hunt in there, but you're getting more for the box than you would typically get. So I, I think as long as it's the right brand, like when you're working with Striking, you never gonna there's nothing that they don't have. Right. When you're working with a Lunker Hunt, there's nothing that they don't have. And when they make good baits and you do a nice job selecting and you you make it a high value. 
Yeah. Um, that I think that's something to be excited about. And I know when I got that, I saw those finesse baits in there. I was like, yes, because that's something I think they haven't been known for. It's relatively new, and I real I those are really nice plastics. Nice, nice. We've got. Uh... I think that the that the takeovers are just a unique way to get really excited about a box that's coming because, you know, it's 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 great to have. What is Max doing? Oh, someone said dab dab for them, so I just had to. <laughs> <laughs> I forget sometimes, Max. Maybe I need to set the bar a little higher. Oh no, Max, you need a timeout. <laughs> Chat, stop getting got, Max in got, trouble. Got iron hide, man. Thick skin. I love it. Yeah, you can handle I, it. I, I swear every time I go in timeout, it's for some reason because of chat. It's always chat's fault. <laughs> it's chat, chat, what are you doing? Hey, j- before I go on to the next thing, Max, are your parents like fighting fighting? No. Uh, I was going to say if they want. No, this is normal fighting. We totally Don't. have to go downstairs in the middle of it and get them on. <laughs> bring them in. Bring them in. What are you guys fighting about? We brought, we brought his mom on last week. I mean, oh, uh, and then I the episode before, I, I, had, I had Max go over to the neighbor's house and uh, and talk to his mom over there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, so going back to the uh, the takeovers, I got, I'm going to tell you guys about a takeover box that I'm super excited about. So, the Bassmaster Classic is in March, and I I had this idea about a year ago that I thought would be so cool to put together a box where every bait was a Bassmaster Classic winning bait. And so I got together with Ken Dukes, who's, uh, he writes Fishing Tackle Retailer. Like he's, he's, he's one of the most well-known guys in the industry. And he's the only guy literally that has the list. And he wouldn't share, you know, he, so much so that he like, he won't share it with me. But, you know, I'm like, give me, you know, four hard baits, four soft plastics. Then I had to go try and figure out if I could get them. And then when I found out that I couldn't get those, I'm like, all right, I need two more. And he'd spoon feed them for me. And uh, <laughs> we're actually going to we're gonna put together a box in March that's a Bassmaster Classic winning box. Every bait will be outlined and detailed. So someone's going to – gonna, he's going to write an article about each bait, the history behind it, uh, who won, how they won, how they fished it. And we've got two baits that they – Literally, the company had retired them, and they're gonna start. They're gonna make them for the first time in like ten years. They're gonna Gosh. they're gonna fire back up the presses and bring back mm-hmm. two baits that no one's been able that no one's been able to purchase for 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 a long time. I love that. So that's I'm awesome. so excited about that. I, I love that. I think that's gonna be really cool, and uh, we'll see if everyone likes it or not. But uh, Ah, oh, what is going on here? Kick that guy out of here. Can we fast forward to March yet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah is it March? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt, March would be great, but December we got another one. So uh, December is going to be new products. Uh, so, you know, ICAST this year was a bit of a, uh, you know, a, bit of a, a letdown because we didn't really get to have it and because it was all done virtually. You know, a lot of these companies didn't invest the time to come out and launch all the new products. And, you know, the guy mm. that can talk. Oh, look at JC Dropshot. He's the guy that. Uh, uh, What's he saying? Nothing. He wants 10 of that, Bob. Something to the, something to the effect of boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, JC Dropshot. That guy knows everybody in the industry. So when I bring up Ken, he, he loves the sound of the box. But the yeah. uh, the December one, because there was no iCast, we're going to launch. We're going to put all new products that were launched at iCast in the box, um, which, you know, I think we've, t- we, we, we started that last year. And I think we're going to continue to do that every December because I think it's a great time, Christmas, all that other good stuff. And, uh, which leads me to my next thing. So you mentioned earlier that, uh, oh my God. one of your trips, uh, I mean, I, I heard something about ice fishing. I heard something about whiskey. And uh, I see Paul nodding. So that's like his <laughs> Christmas. Because now we're on to something. So, like, tell uh, me more. So, yes, and? <laughs> uh, in three days, I'm I, – actually, I think it's on the website. I just didn't tell anyone. But we, uh, we, we have an ice fishing box. 
and uh, that's launching on November fifteenth. Pre order for, uh, for 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 shipping on December one. And I think I need to send you guys a box because you know you guys this are the guys who review the boxes. So if one shows up just magically at your door, I just want fish you to the hell out of it. Yeah, just yeah, <laughs> it's gonna fish happen. the hell out of it. Drink the whiskey. I don't care. Does it come with whiskey? Hang on. Because I just signed up for two. <laughs> That's yeah. a game changer. <laughs> yeah. Comes with a bottle of whistle pig, all right? Like the box and? retails for $152. <laughs> yeah. It's like $299.99. No, like $300. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'll take it. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, Burley. That's awesome. Go ahead. What do you got, Max? Burley. Yes. JC Dropshot is talking trash. No. <laughs> He wants you to dad. Dude, what? This thing? Yeah. You didn't that even thing? move your head. Do it right. <laughs> this way? Oh, Max, yeah. teach me how to dad, Max. <laughs> I'm going to smack my mic. Don't you just have to watch the Hulkster from back in the day? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, yep. I see you going with that. <laughs> All right, so I got a couple questions. I've been taking pictures of the chat. Got some questions. So right. first off, the one that really stuck out to me, Fishing the Southeast asked, he said he has connections to Japanese lures, and he wants you to make a Japanese lure takeover box. Are you talking to Jeff? Or are you talking- I don't make boxes, bro. <laughs> oh, no, I'm talking to Rick. I know you're talking to Rick. Yeah, I know. All right, Rick's then- over here like, hmm. <laughs> What's your next question, Max? Okay. <laughs> That's what I figured would happen. Um, I can tell you I'm looking at the ice fishing box, so I think, like, mischief managed. Okay. How is the paddle tail bite <laughs> up in the north? That's a what? How is what the, the paddle question? tail bite up in the north? That's oh, going the, towards Burley and Paul. The paddle tail bite right now? Uh, Less good now. More good last month. It was good last month. We are throwing uh the last – so September, October, it was great. Uh, we had the, in the last box, we had the chase baits paddle bait and throw it in that purple and black. We throw that on like the thunder cricket that came in the box or throw it on a spinner. I threw it on an underspin. It looked really good and we we're getting fish on that. But now it's more like I said, suspending jerk baits <laughs> and that's pretty much the play. Uh, anything you can like move and pause with erratic action is working a lot better and paddle tails. You can like lift and drop them and that works okay i'm just getting better bites on jerk baits yeah that that's how it is here now too yeah. i mean i'm kind of northern it's dropping down to like 30 degrees at night but we've had like a heat front i don't know what they call a heat wave come in kind of so it's been like 70 for the past week here so yeah we had just down. broke that yeah it's gone now it's uh freezing <laughs> so. well, yeah, it's, had it's, rivers it's rivers are actually really low for a while like we oh, had yeah. the, we had like some we had some low 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 I, river conditions and that, that, that actually played that a pretty video. big factor i was yeah. talking to really about it it was like uh, snowing yeah the blizzard video i uh, yeah. uh we put on instagram and tiktok yeah, yeah. yeah we like, we so all right. Hey, Max. Max, I'm going to rapid fire through some questions here, okay? All right. This is like training, this is like training for you, okay? All right. Thank uh, you. All right. Burley, they want to know where they can buy some of your, uh, some of your apparel. Ooh, great, great question. It just so happens that I don't know when this is going to drop. Rick will tell me right now. But it's going to be on the Monster Bass website. So if you go to monsterbass.com, to the store, to the T-shirt section – for now, at least the T-shirts will be there because hats are on back order. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna drop hats in the new year. Hopefully, 2021 they get back in stock. We'll get some nice like five panel hats to be crisp. They'll be nice. But the shirt should be there. Same T-shirt that I wear all the time. Um, that one should be in the store. Rick, Rick, when is that gonna drop? I- I'm looking right up. now. I mean, all right. While he's doing that, somebody wants to know what's your favorite soft plastic. My. Favorite soft plastic like, ever? Whatever time of the year, whatever it is, what's your favorite soft plastic? Paul knows the answer to this. Uh, my most used, <laughs> my most used mm. is the the Z-Man finesse turd in uh, copper truce. Shark it is. I have we call it the shark deuce for a reason. I have <laughs> bag, bags on bags of the shark deuces, and I use them all the dang time. Is that the like little three inch Ned? 
right? Yeah, little Ned Worm. It's uh, two tone. It's chartreuse, and then there's like a green pumpkin with red flake in it on the other side. Yeah. All right, so get back to your to the previous question that I didn't answer, and I'm very disappointed and a little embarrassed. Uh, I wanted to have the t-shirts live. They were supposed to be live today in time for the show. Um, and I just logged on and looked and they're not. So uh, my promise to everybody is you can buy burly shirts on our website tomorrow morning. Um, get up bright and early. Get Let's up, do it. There's going to be a run on them. So I would make sure you hook it up tomorrow and, um, maybe we'll even put a promo code out there for everybody watching when we publish this live. So. Uh, I'm sorry about the shirts. I really don't know what to say. I can't believe it. Um, I'll forgive you one of these days. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Uh, a couple other questions. I would love to see a dedicated panfish box crap for crappie, bluegill, and perch from 6X. Who asked that question? Uh, listen, Jason. Uh, I think, you know, in two days, three days from now, it's actually on the websites right now. I just didn't tell anyone, but the multi species box will launch in three days. Uh, that'll be a mix of bass and panfish because that's just how I'm going to do it. I don't know that I'm going to go full, you know, all out with just a, a full blown panfish box. I've been there, done that. And I don't know that that's the course I want to take for now. So I think multi species is a great mix. And I think that'll satisfy most people. Uh, Someone asked, will the Monster Bass YouTube channel um, ever have it set up regionally where I can go on and just look at videos or tips for my region? I think that's a great idea and well, something that. something that we can definitely do, right? Yeah. Uh, so I, I work <laughs> with a lot of the creators on the Monster Bass team to make those videos that you guys see on the channel every month. Right now, we've been uh, just trying to stay consistent with content and get you two videos a week. We can ramp that up as we get more creators on the team. And then we test, like I said we earlier, we test the baits. So the videos you're seeing there is like our experience with those baits, how we like to fish them, the setups that we have with them, all of that. But we can definitely make a playlist. Yeah. And we can make it per region. So yeah, I think yes, we, we I'll make a note right now. I'll work with you and Abby and we will make that happen. Yeah, I think that's a really great idea. And for those of you at home wondering how, why Burley's going to make that happen, he actually manages our YouTube channel and uh, manages our content creators. And uh, he's the brains behind the operation. So uh, I do things and try stuff. That's right. So, <laughs> listen, I want to be really cognizant of time because I know you guys have to go live in about 15 minutes. And uh, I'm really grateful that you guys took time out of your day, spend it with us. I know you got your own audience to go get to. And uh, so we want to make sure everyone's aware of that so that uh, if you want to head over to their channel, Burley Fishing, and uh, you guys stream it live? Yeah. Podcast? Yeah. Go. We'll be live on YouTube. We'll be live on YouTube. Uh, do you, is there any sneak peek on who your guest is or... To, today, my guest is uh, Mr. Paul Glass, yeah. and uh, we're because <laughs> he's got a trip. He's got he's going hunting for like five days, so ho homeboy is tripping out tonight, right after the podcast ends. Nice. But we are we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about we're gonna have a fun time. We're we're, we're talking about fishing <laughs> yeah. games. Yeah. We're literally we're literally gonna joke for like an hour and a half. <laughs> so if you want to just like grab a dad pop and come hang out with us, that'd be great. And we're just gonna laugh the whole time. <laughs> so. Love it. All right. No, Max, there's no more questions. We're being respectful of their time. we got to let them go. I'm just trying to say one thing real quick. Say, say it. Well, two things. One, I want to make uh, content for the Monster Ass YouTube channel for the Northeast region. Okay, Max, we got to we gotta, we gotta let these guys go. Okay. Seriously. But, wait, no, Rick, no. Just... No, you need to wait. You need to wait. Okay. Uh. It's hard. It's so hard. You're so lucky. Paul <laughs> is, is so like, you know. God, he's a pro. I can just say this is a very unique podcasting experience. I've had a good time. <laughs> this has been great. So listen, I want to thank you guys so much for coming on. Um and uh yeah, I hope you guys have a great show. Come on back another time and uh we'll talk with you guys soon. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for having us. All right. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Max. See you guys. Bye, Later. guys.
All right, so. Okay, Rick, no, no, now. No, no, hold on, this is my show. This I, is urgent. No. All right, Max. You remember the one guy from a while ago, the Joe Biden guy? Well, he's back, and he's saying he has more kids in cages in his basement. Oh, that guy? Yeah. <sighs> Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. We got rid of him for you, Maxie. Paul's back? Do you want me back or not? No. Somebody just called me. No. All right. I mean, I, I want you back. I, I <laughs> you know, I, hey, <laughs> hey, if, if, you're, if your gig on the other show doesn't go well, I'm looking to be like. Oh, if I need to blow up? No, yeah. Like, we can get rid of Max, no problem. And I can <laughs> all day long with you. Max, don't listen to this dude. Just keep on grinding. <laughs> have a good night you guys alright see you later see ya uh, it's okay so guys um, oh thank you JC Dropshot for taking care of that guy this is the second week in a row this clown showing up we just gotta ban him from the channel um, I saw a bunch of other questions and I, I lost a bunch of them uh, uh, can we go back through those questions can you do some southern videos please sure uh, let's, let's see if, is, does anyone else want to, uh, we got 10 minutes left. Let's, uh, school of fish. We need to have you on as a guest. I think it's really important that we share what you guys are working on. I think that it's pretty excellent. Uh, Jason Beck, so he's got good feedback for me. Fishing with Wyatt. You know, it might be a good idea to bring Wyatt on and, uh, and have a little chat with him. Um, I he did say he got his box, and he's been waiting to open it with you. He did. He said that. Well, yeah. How do we, how do we get him on here? Is there? A, I'm just looking over at my producer. And he just said he wants to go live. Let's Come. do it. Oh. Hold on. Oh, I was removed. All right, okay. fishing with Wyatt. Uh, Wyatt's dead. Just message us. Monster Bass Company at Gmail. Monster Bass Company at Gmail. And what does he need to do? Just, he just, needs to message me. just message us and we'll bring you on board Skype. on Skype. And we'll, uh, oh, maybe he doesn't have Skype. All right. Well, if you got us, message us on Skype. We'll get you on board and we'll, uh, and we'll, we'll do the unboxing. If not, we're going to do it next week. Um, you know, we're getting ready to wrap up here. Uh, oh, questions. What is in my mystery box? Um, all right, I'll take a bunch of questions right now. So in the mystery box is pretty much there's, there's one, there's a $200 one, there's a $300 one. And literally every bait that we, that is sent to me, um, every sample that is sent to me makes it into the box. There's no junk. I never put the baits that I get from other people's boxes. Uh, I literally, it's, if I say it's worth 200 bucks, it's definitely worth 200 bucks worth of baits. I stopped counting. I literally just, I, I count the number of baits, multiply by four or five, and uh, and come up with a value, and then I discount it because I want to get it out of my office. So uh, I'd say they're pretty good. Um, let's see. Uh, did we get the larger shirts? Uh, I placed the order yesterday. I think they'll be in time. I'll have uh, three, three through six X in by black friday so i'll have those i promise i know you guys are that want the bigger shirts uh, uh i'm gonna make an announcement once they come in so i'll take care of that stuff uh let's see i think that was it what's jeff's channel called jeff's channel is called burly fishing um give him a, you know he's he's a pretty informative guy like i said and that's why we had him on the show today so uh what else we got here uh, what do you think is the best bait in the November box? It's really hard for me to answer that question because again, we region base a lot of these, you know, some, uh, a lot of the boxes will have one or two things in common because let's face it, you can fish a medium diving crankbait year round. So if I give everybody one of those, it, it's, 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 it's something. Um, I think for me, the, the bait that I think is the best, there's two baits in the box that I think are really special this month. If you take a look at the excite baits, let me see what I got. I might have one in one of these reusable bait bags, which if you've been living under a rock, you, you know that uh, 
Already ahead of you, bro. Great. Get rid of the jerk bait. Oh. Yeah. To me, the bait that I think I'm 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 most excited about is this. Uh, it's a it's a custom painted. Can you take that out, Max, and show it? So it's, oh. a, it's a custom painted Excite XB1 uh, square bill, painted with a, a Messer custom pattern. It's a fall uh, uh, fall bluegill pattern, and people are crushing it. Can you just kind of like turn it so people can? Can you hold it by the lip, Max, and just slowly like show it? Yeah. So you can see those the, the pattern's just ridiculous. Oh, he's so he's such a good little artist, that kid. Um, so uh, you can't buy those; they're limited edition. Um, only the people that got them in the box will get those. And then we had a few left over that we're going to sell on the website. So if you haven't gotten a chance to get one of those, this is your only chance to get a an XB one painted with a Messer pattern. That's my favorite bait in the box. Um, Part time fisher, yes. Uh, please submit your application to replace Max. You can send that. Uh, you can DM me, and we'll take care of that. Uh, what else? They are coming starting in January. Yes, the bait bags are coming starting in January. And uh, yes, uh, Rick, this was the best box ever. Crank bait, jerk bait, underspin, ocho lipless plastics. Thank you. Yeah, I was really excited about this box. I, I, I think the combination of the custom patterns, which I'm going to try and do a lot more. Um, we've got a, a an Alex Rudd series. It's a it's a one point. It's the Monster Bass Hammerhead 1.5, but we're going to make a silent version. And Alex has designed four patterns that uh, Messer has painted, and uh, he's going to have those to me by Monday, and then we're sending them off to the factory, and. Uh, in the, I want to say in the March box, we're going to add, with the classic box, we're going to add in a custom painted 1.5 hammerhead with a, a silent, it's a, it's an Alex Rudd series that we're doing uh, specifically for him. And uh, I think that's going to be great. Uh, Rick, how do you know Max? Um, you know, I was walking by a park one day and, and I saw this kid uh, sitting on the curb and he's crying and uh, he's staring at the ground and his ice cream was on the ground and uh, I just looked at him. I'm like, what's up little fella? And uh, he's like, my ice cream, my ice cream. And, and so, you know, I flipped him a, I flipped him a dollar bill, got him an ice cream. And then the, he followed me around for like the rest of the day. And I've been his best friend ever since. Um, let's see. Are, are we still fe featuring veterans? A hundred percent. So, you know, as you guys know, the, uh, the men and women that sacrifice so much for the very freedoms that we take for granted uh, every day are something very near and dear to my heart. Uh, since I've been in this industry, I've made it a point to put real to take real estate on the boxes, whether it was my previous company or this company, and acknowledge them because I think that uh, uh, the sacrifices that they make are things that we don't we shouldn't just acknowledge once a year or twice a year. It's something that we should really be grateful for every day. And so, yeah, so the, uh, uh, the cards inside of every box featured uh, uh, a veteran um, or an act, someone from active military uh, on the front of every card. And uh, as always, um, you know, the boxes each month and our cards will always uh, continue to give thanks for, for all of that and acknowledge their effort. One of the other things that we did this month is um, I got together with a, a veterans organization in Boston and donated a thousand baits uh, to a veterans organization there. Um, uh, and uh, I worked with Patrick Ballinger. Uh, many of you know his, his YouTube channel and I worked with him. And uh, like I said, we donated a thousand baits. So I thought that was really, really, you know, special and a great opportunity to be a part of. Um, what else we got? We're wrapping up. We got about three minutes left. Are there any other questions? I don't know. I have some. Okay, Maxie. What do you got? Okay. So, I've seen about 10 to 20 comments oh. asking, what is in the tanks? Everybody wants to know. So, I've been holding off. But, in the tank over there, there is three African cichlids. And in the tank over there... There is a bunch of little guppies. All right. Can you go back to the, can you do, can, here, I'll, I'll I, I'm, I've been getting a lot of questions too, Max. Max, go over to the tank with the guppies. 
Grab your neck. Grab your neck. Yeah. Go over to the tank. With the, yeah. I want you to go over to the tank with the guppies, grab one of them, and I want you to dump the guppy into the tank with a cichlid. No. Why? Because that's the guppies are expensive. Now, yeah, but the cichlids will eat the guppy, and that's what everyone wants to see. I mean, yeah, but right. you know what? Fine. Um, no, no, no. Oh, you really going to do that? I have so much info. Uh, okay, I have a Skype. How do I go live? All right, Wyatt, we're going to have to do this on Instagram tomorrow. You and I are going to go live, and we're going to go through the box because we're running out of time. we got about a minute left. And um, All right, so people want to know about the geezer squad. Yeah. So, um, Rafi, you want to come on here? Sure. Oh, hold on, guys. Hold on. This is important. Hi, honey. Hello? Hey, I I'm on live on YouTube right now. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Hi. Yeah, yeah. You're live on YouTube with all of us. You're on speakerphone. Hi, everyone. Okay. So, awesome. live with bass. okay. Yeah. You're live with a monster bass. Is there any questions that you have that you want to ask me? Uh, no, it's just checking in. Okay. We have a family doing. Great. Can, awesome. all right. Well, uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Babe. All right. You, bye. bye. All right. So that was, uh, that was my girlfriend. Uh, so anyway, um, uh, what's going on with the Black Fr with Black Friday? What's going on with Geezer Squad? Last two questions of the day. Uh, Geezer Squad, uh, we do have the president of Geezer Squad here uh, online. And for those of you that don't know what the Geezer Squad is, and um, you know, there's another group out there called the Guggen Squad. And they're, you know, they got a lot of followers. They do a lot of fun stuff, but they do it like you know, they kind of do it like kids. And so fish with gummy worms. Well, I don't know that they do that, but they maybe they used to. But we're going to basically do the same thing as them. We're older, and everybody that's above a certain age is automatically a, a lifelong member of the Geezer Squad. And we're just going to create content. We're going to have a good time, and then we're going to create a line of baits around it uh, for guys that actually know how to fish. So uh, we'll probably go live tomorrow a little, a little later tonight with the Geezer Squad. Um and we'll go there. Black Friday. So Black Friday, we're creating a section of the website that uh, will have a variety of special offers. Now, I know the first thing you're going to ask me is, but what about me? I've been a customer for a long time. Don't worry. I'm going to have offers for brand new customers and I'm going to have offers for my existing customers. I'm not, I'm not going to, of course, just take care of the new guys. I want to take care of you guys too. So don't worry. I got this all figured out. There'll be a section on the site called Black Friday Deals. And you'll be able to log, you'll be able to scroll through a whole bunch of them and you can take advantage of them as, as a new or an existing customer and won't require you to cancel or do anything funny. It'd be a great little deal. So, um, that's it, man. Max. Somebody said, somebody uh, said that we need to get Alex Rudd in here for one of these podcasts as the guest. Yeah. I think we're going to have one where, uh, it's going to be myself, Alex Rudd and Ben, Ben Noack. Oh, okay. What? I don't know. That not me. Probably not, Max. I don't know. We'll see. You got to brush up your game. I want you to. I want you to practice your homework, Max, for next week. Is to really practice being my co-host. I need you to come up with questions and chime in and be like, Rick. We got a great question from the audience from uh, Fish in the Southeast. How old do you have to be? You know, the answer is simple. But I also don't want to like interrupt, you know? Well, that's for you to learn how to be a co-host. Go to co-host school. Watch the greatest co-host. They know when to ask questions, when not to. Got it. I'll do research tonight. Great. Great. What, uh, is your mom got a pie or anything in the oven? I don't think so. All right, great. All right, Max. Well, listen, man, I appreciate you being on and, um, I'm gonna let you go. It's probably past your bedtime. It's not, but... Well, it should be. So, uh, go do some research. Go graduate from Coho School, and I'll see you next week. Okay. All right, buddy. See ya. All right, bye. Bye bye. bye.
Okay, so auditions start next week uh, for my co-host. And uh, listen, all you got to do is go to co-host school, graduate, and you too can be up here with me. We'll have a good time. We'll, uh, we'll talk to some cool people. We'll learn a lot. We'll learn some Spanish. And we'll spend an hour with people for, you know, every Thursday. So um, let me just take a couple other questions. I'm going to power through them. Can you go up to this one for me? Can those of us walking on water in a month get the ice box, ice box for three months instead of our pro box? Yes. So if you're currently a subscriber, um, the ice box starts in December, December, January, and February. All you need to do is message support, support at monsterbass.com, like Katie, Jennifer, Hannah, uh, any of the girls in, in customer support know, just tell them you want to switch your next box to the ice box will take care of the whole thing. And then the moment the ice passes over, you'll automatically be put back right to the pro box. So that's a, a great way for you to, uh, to have something to, fun to look forward to in the winter. It's a little bit different. Um, mule jigs for the panfish box. I will check those guys out. Um, what else? You should check him out. Wait a minute. If you haven't seen it, is, I see there's a multi-species box. If you haven't seen Online Outdoorsman, you should check him out. I would love to go check him out. Online Outdoorsman. I will check him out afterwards. Um, so it's been a great show. Glad, glad we got to spend an hour with you guys. Um, probably go online a little bit later for a, you know, a little late night geezer squad session. And uh, as always, I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your day. Thank you so much for supporting the brand and being part of the Monster Bass family. Um, I really appreciate each and every one of you. I know you guys send me lots of emails, and uh, I try to get to them as quick as I can. If by some chance I've missed one, please don't take it personally. Just send me a, send me a reminder, and, uh, and I'll get to each and every one of your emails um, because it does mean a lot that you take the time to write into me, and I want to make sure that I take the time to write back to you. So um that's it next week uh same time thursday 4 p.m pacific um i got a great guest lined up i think the next three weeks are going to be something special and uh as we head into december uh we we got a we got a, just a great schedule some great content some great people and uh i think you guys are gonna really enjoy it uh jc drop shot if you're still there uh shoot me a text i need to talk to you about something and uh I'll talk with you guys all soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.